why was X Pac the best tag team partner you ever had? Uh, Good question. Well, at the time, he was my favorite, yeah. right? Because you tall guy, short guy. Yeah. Yep. And in in that contrast, I always I always like tagging and working and wrestling against smaller guys because the story was already told, right? Um, with X Pac, it was also at a time where uh, you know the the, the Kane character uh, needed uh, another dimension mm -hmm. because he'd been a silent killer, and at some point that gets old. And with X Pac, we're able to do that with, you know, the the emotion that I he's like my only my only friend in the whole world, right? Was right. X Pac, um, and so it, the the timing was right. And then of course Sean was one of those guys that, uh, you know, he was he really looked out for me. I mean, he wanted you know he wanted me to be successful, and he was willing to work uh, at that way. Um, but I've had so many man. I've had like X Pac, Hurricane, RVD, Daniel Bryan, Big Show. You know, um, and of course, Taker. So I've had a lot of tag team partners that, um, you know, I think we did really the well. The answer is Xbox. It's fine. Okay. We, we can agree. Right, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Xbox yeah. is yeah. a uh, <laughs> my favorite. I loved it. I loved it as a kid because it was really just like, oh, short guy, tall guy. This is fun. <laughs> He's this a personal cool. hero of mine. I based my entire look accidentally <laughs> off Xbox a little bit. I've always wondered it in the tall guy, short guy dynamic, it, when he's in the ring and he's getting his ass kicked. Are you are you standing behind those ropes? Is there a small part of your brain that actually starts to like feel like you need to go defend your buddy, like be his protectorate? <laughs> uh, at times, maybe you know, especially depending on who you're in there with, um, you know. And then then just from uh, an entertainment value, it's like you know, at some point you're you're killing me over here because you know it's like why doesn't Kane just go in and you know basically beat everybody up yeah. right um, that, that was so, my question yeah, so at some point ask, yeah, like, i'd be like okay I, you know this has got to stop and i got to go in and do yeah something. the one time i i had a hard time suspending disbelief when it was like you or the undertaker or big show somebody that was just you know massive <laughs> and could kick everyone's ass and you just have to kind of wait and not go in there and just dominate everyone or if you're just in the ring with somebody that's a lot smaller and i'm like wait no you're 150 pounds heavier than this guy <laughs> there's no chance he can be pinning you right now like if you are in a situation where you're getting beaten by a smaller guy as part of you or are you like i just want to throw this guy off me and and, and fuck the storyline <laughs> uh no because you're, you're trying to do business mm -hmm. <laughs> but you also have to realize that yes if if the fans aren't buying it that you know you have to you have to do something right um and if your character's getting buried because uh, in many cases because the, the other guy isn't aggressive enough you know i mean you get you know you get some of the guys like kurt angle i mean kurt angle wasn't necessarily a big guy but good lord uh you know he'd just go out there and you know he was just so aggressive and you know could take anyone um and you know just uh folks that, that maybe not had been that big but were extremely aggressive and their stuff looked really good you know that was one thing but yeah sometimes it's like okay you know this has got to stop and you know all of a sudden just you know pow and you have to have to do what you have to do in some cases right and, right yeah. um where's the mask uh it's in in my closet Okay. There's actually there's the masks. Ooh. Yeah, I've I've because you I have said a few. I I was doing I was reading up on uh, some stuff this morning and you you kept on saying when you did I think a Q and A you're like it's in a secure location. <laughs> <laughs> that, that secure location is my closet. Okay. Because yeah. I but was we like, do have an alarm system, so don't try to break it. Well, yeah. I thought you and I was hoping you would answer it this way. But you didn't, but that's okay. Uh, just you know, breaking my we, heart we as a child. We could have briefed off air, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. It's true. We should have this. The, we should have done a work here, but. But <laughs> you, I thought you thought I have it in a secure location because the minute I turn, put it on, I'm back to Kane. Okay. And like, like you don't want to see Kane. It's being kept from you. Yeah. yeah you want, no, he's yes. keeping it from himself because yes. when he puts it on, he does bad things. Well, that's what, maybe, yeah. he, maybe yes. he's hired somebody yeah. to like yeah, get my, this as far yeah, away exactly. from you as So possible. that's true? Yes. yes. Okay, okay, cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you that's put, absolutely true, man. <laughs> when you put the mask on, do you kind of flash back a little bit? <laughs> no. Have you, ever <laughs> have you ever considered wearing it to like a town hall meeting? <laughs> no, I have not, actually. Um <laughs> Well, maybe. You probably, well, okay, yeah. So I, that's sure. actually a good segue, though, because I want to talk a little bit about your your political career and being mayor. Is it hard? Was it hard? And is it hard still today to maybe have some people take you seriously when it's like you were Kane and now you're a real mayor that's real world <laughs> and he's trying to solve problems that we right. all have. Um, 
I, I think that you know we've reached a point in society where folks understand that WWE is entertainment, eh. and we've we've. <laughs> what, do you, okay. what do you mean? We've exactly, mm. um, and you know a lot of the stigma and stereotypes surrounding it have have been diminished. I mean, you know, good lord, if you know Dwayne Johnson's the number one movie star in the entire world, you know, it's true. John, mm. John Cena is doing some really great stuff, um, you know. So I mean, you're always gonna have some folks that. Uh, say whatever and you just ignore those but I, I think a lot of it is just you know just people getting to know me and realizing that you know that's a character right I play on tv i mean you know here's the thing i mean no one no one thinks that anthony hopkins is really hannibal lecter at least i hope not correct you know? and that's you know that's really i think it's you know it's uh if people want to be childish about things, okay. But if you want to be mature and realize, hey, you know, people do different things for a living, um, and acting and entertaining in some cases is what they do for a living, you know, that's fine, and mm -hmm. we, we should all uh, respect that. But, right. You know, um, and I understand too. You know, uh, I, I always say that a lot of politicians, uh, when they're campaigning, they're trying to convince people that they are the person they see on TV. Um, I had to convince people that I wasn't the person Interesting. that they saw on TV. Um, so how did you, you know, do that? Did you like tone it down? Were you like, no, I mean, I was just myself. Doing? Yeah. You know, just go out and, you know, realize that people are going to bring up the wrestling thing. I'm proud of my, I'm proud of my WWE career. Um, and I could actually use that as a, uh, to open the door. You know, I could use that to get, um, to get media, you mm -hmm. know, to get some attention. But in the end, uh, I had to be me. And, you know, I had to talk about substantive issues and uh, things that folks would, would expect from that position. Um, you know, so I never, you know, I, I knew that I could use the wrestling thing to my advantage to get attention, but I also knew that there was a much higher bar for me to cross when it came to um, things like policy and, and things like articulation and that sort of stuff. Uh, so, you know, we had to, I had to, during the campaign, kind of strategically use the wrestling bit uh, where it would work and then realize too that no, I can't rely on that. And, right. And if I were to, I was really doing everyone a disservice. When are you going to run for president? I'm not, man. Who Come on, be President, president Kane. No, no way. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah way. President that would be incredible. No, I don't, I would never want to do that. Could you that. imagine if you had your entrance music every time you came to like, <laughs> be like, we killed the terrorist and you come out and it's, I mean, that's just like a little platform <laughs> underneath the, the uh, resolute yeah. desk in well, the here, Oval Office that you rise up from the ground and smoke. You know, here, here's the bad thing. I think in many ways, uh, that's that's what politics has become is entertainment. Yeah, mm -hmm. you well, know? and that's not a good thing. We're seeing a lot of wrestlers getting into politics. Yeah, I mean, it goes back to Jesse the Body. Uh, Jerry Lawler was king of Memphis, mm -hmm. and yeah. The Rock's probably going to run for president someday. <laughs> Have you and him talked about that about no, his political career? No, man. No, dude. You know, just he he's doing great in movies and you know, I, I there's no way I could ever talk to anyone about running for president. It's uh, you know, that's that would that would be the most the, the most difficult job in the world and not yeah. not for the reasons that we think I think either. Yeah. Yeah. So you uh, now do you have I mean it's a question that most politicians do get asked though like do you have aspirations to go up the ladder of mayor to the next thing? I have no idea. Okay. I, I don't, you know, right now I'm just concentrating on being mayor and doing the best job that I can. Uh at that and did, did you ever build that chair the like the first day well you when you yeah. were in office you did yeah that's okay that's that's, that's, that's actually yes mm. no um, i did i so remember so that it, you're it, like it's hard at work it's yeah. my own special chair uh <laughs> i you know i've actually uh at, at my office uh at home i have one of those it's it's a big and tall chair you know and it's a tweet where like yeah. the first day when he got elected I was already mayor, hard at work. it was just a, a chair that he had to put together oh, he was sitting on the ground yes. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Kane's already getting results. That's the hardest thing that yes. you can yeah. do, actually, is put together a piece of furniture on your own. Yes. It's, it's true, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's true. Day one, built built a chair. Yes. <laughs> Check. More than most people yes. say. <laughs> Hopefully, that's my, not my biggest accomplishment. But, but yes, if it I is, that's also together. an accomplishment. Well, thank you. I yeah. I mean, you that. built a chair. That <laughs> happened. Um, all right. My last question, uh, Seeky question, promo code take. We're here with Mayor Glenn Jacobs. Uh, you know him as Kane, or if you live in Knox County, you know him as Mayor. Um, we asked this. You got a new auto, uh, autobiography out called Mayor Kane. We asked this to every wrestling uh, person who comes through these doors. Have you ever sneezed in front of Vince McMahon? I don't think I have. Smart. Yeah. Smart. Doesn't like it. That was smart. <laughs> smart by you. Have you seen anyone? I, I, I don't recall. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Smart. Very smart. He hates it. He thinks he hates it. You lose control of yourself Weakness. when you sneeze. It's yeah. a sign of, of not having full capacity. What's your relationship, your though, like with Vince? 
Uh, I could probably sneeze in front of it if I needed you to. You think so? Yeah. Uh, that's where it ends. You got a little <laughs> too comfortable. No, man. Um, Vince has always been very good to me. He's been very fair to me. Um, in fact, when I was uh, decided that I wanted to run for office, he was one of the first people that I talked to. Uh, you know, not only because, I mean, I had to, uh, but also. <laughs> you really are corporate king. Just check in with <laughs> but, him. But yeah. also but also because I wanted his, I needed his support. Not right. only, you know, not only for all the obvious reasons, but also because it was important to me. Because mm -hmm. um, I want to make him proud of what I was doing. Um, so he's always, he's always been very good to me. Um, and you know, I can tell you, you know, despite, you know, all the things that, that people say about Vince, um, you know, he's very loyal to folks that are loyal to him um you know and i've seen that time and time and time again yeah so i have a very good relationship with him that's awesome that's great uh my last question is about x-pac again did he ever poop in any of your stuff any of your artifacts <laughs> did you ever discover just no. uh, x-pac scat yeah. laying around uh, no no, no. no. Not no. to you. He knew better. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Wait, how often? I have one final, final question. How often do you talk to Undertaker? Uh, I, I talk to him not that often, but you know, every couple months or so. But, I mean, you know. family occasions and stuff, like <laughs> Thanksgiving, Christmas. I might call him on Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. I mean, family, yeah, right. Too, Do, were you yeah. shocked when he lost it at uh, WrestleMania? Yes. I was too. I was there. Yeah, were you? Yeah, it yeah. shocked me. Yeah, me that too. Was, me too, man. I was, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, uh, you know, here's the thing, man. The, the streak was not something I think that uh, was was like some of those planned, right? It just kind of organically hey, grew. He kept on kicking yeah, everyone's he just, ass. He just kept on going and yeah. kept on going. And um, that would have been, in my opinion, that was one of those things that um, you know, they they it, it, it was part of WrestleMania, right? You know, it's almost like you know, folks folks would watch the match and you know the match was fine but what they really wanted to see was the street undertaker mm -hmm. 27 and oh you know um so yeah i, I was pretty shocked by that mm -hmm. and uh you know uh i don't know in fact in fact initially i was like oh they're gonna restart the match and then it yes. was one of those things where everybody was so confused yeah. yes. i was just like what just happened yes right. yeah so. absolutely